Harbor Freight Tools, trusted by professionals everywhere. Harbor Freight has been known as the budget tool store since the beginning. And it was founded in 1977 by father and son duo, Alan and Eric Schmidt. They began as a mail order tool store and they focused on liquidated and returned items. Harbor Freight is a hot topic. And they're loved and hated by many. I've always been kind of a fan of Harbor Freight as they give the average DIYer and professional to some extent the chance to purchase tools at a good price, which they continue to do. But as of late, they've kind of switched gears and have been focusing more on the prosumer market and have released many tools claiming them to be professional quality tools, including Hercules, Daytona, Earthquake, Vulcan, and more. Recently, they've introduced this Icon professional brand and they've expanded to include a torque wrench, set of snap ring pliers, a speed collar, and this Icon professional breaker bar, which I did a review on. In November at SEMA, they plan to unveil a whole line of Icon professional tools, including ratchets, wrenches, specialty tools, and tool storage. In my opinion, they do need to upgrade the quality of some of their tools, but it came as a shock to me that they're gonna be offering the new Icon Toolbox. Their toolboxes are pretty popular, and I think they're of decent quality. I own the 72 inch box, the 56 inch box, the US General Tech Cart, which isn't of the best quality, but I actually used it to turn it into a, a power station to charge all my cordless tools, which I did a video on. And their five drawer tool cart, which I have owned, but I recently sold that along with a bunch of tools that I don't use as much anymore and don't really need. Upon reviewing this Icon breaker bar, I couldn't come to any clear cut conclusion to justify this costing quite a bit more than the Pittsburgh Pro breaker bar. It's becoming clear to me that they're intending their Pittsburgh Pro and US General line to become their entry level tools. And now Icon is gonna be their new professional line of tools. This is what they're claiming. Icon is a full line of premium hand tools, storage and automotive specialty tools. All Icon products feature precision craftsmanship for the professional at an unbeatable value. Icon storage is built to last. These premium toolboxes are constructed with the heaviest steel and the strongest welds. Icon storage features deep drawers, maximum capacity, integrated power, and durability you demand. Invest in the best with Icon. Icon specialty kits help the master mechanic tackle any job quickly and easily. From poolers to diagnostic test kits, Icon Specialty Tools feature premium components designed for precision, performance, and durability. From torque wrenches to ratchets and wrenches, Icon Hand Tools are built with premium quality and precision. When you need a tool you can count on, reach for Icon. It came as a shock to me that they were challenging their Pittsburgh Pro Breaker Bar, but it comes as a bigger shock to me that they're now gonna challenge their already popular U.S. General line of tool storage. As they attempt to expand their customer base, I'm left to wonder with what this means for their already established customers. Will they continue to offer budget tools at a cheap price and their professional tools? Or are they planning to phase out the cheaper tools and just focus on professional tools? Most professionals already have an established tool brand which services their shop or place of work, including Snap-on Tools, Mac Tools, Matco Tools, and Cornwell Tools. So I'm left to wonder 
if they think that these people are going to just abandon their already established tool brands to go with the cheaper alternative icon professional tool brand or just supplement their tool collections and buy some icon or other professional type tools or they try and just to dig deeper into the pockets of their already established customer base. I like the idea of having a physical store I can go to to browse tools and purchase tools, but most professionals already have a tool store that comes to them. Let's take a look at these new Icon toolboxes. Usually in their ads, Harbor Freight specifically targets a tool and then compares their tool to that tool. But as we see in this, they're comparing this icon box to just a more general leading tool brand. But we could take a look at the dimensions. This is their 56 inch box by 25 inches deep, which is deeper than their other tool boxes, which come in at 22 inches deep by 45 inches tall. The weight is 633 pounds, storage capacity of 24,600 cubic inches a load capacity of 8,000, drawer count of 12, slide capacity pounds per pair 265, full extension drawers, adjustable power detents, power tool drawers, integrated power source. So as we see, it beats the leading tool truck brand in every category. And it offers features that the leading tool truck brand does not even have. And we look at the price. $2,499 for the Icom versus the leading tool truck brand at $67.75. So we're looking at a price increase of approximately $1,750 over their 56 cents US General Toolbox. And that's full retail price without a coupon because the 56 inch box can be got for $650 at certain times. And as we also see the add-ons they're offering a work center, overhead, 28 inch end locker, 22 inch end cap, and a stainless top. So as we can see from this picture, they're going to be having a hutch, stainless top, side locker, end locker. So that whole setup right there would cost you $6,995. That's a lot of money to drop at one time on anything. As I mentioned, tool trucks will give you the opportunity to get credit for a big purchase like this. But granted, this complete setup from a tool truck would cost you over twice the amount of that money. So Harbor Freight's getting serious about trying to sell their tools more geared toward professionals. But as we can see, the price also goes up quite a bit which we can expect. And of course, I like the idea of getting higher quality tools. And I also expect to pay more for them tools, but I'm torn on the purpose of this. What do you think of the new Icon toolboxes and professional tool line? If you already purchased your tools from a tool truck, would you consider switching brands to save a little money to the Icon professional brand from Harbor Freight? If you already own Harbor Freight tools, or use their US General Toolboxes? Would you consider switching and paying more to get the new Icon Professional Tool Brand? So what do you think? <laughs> Let me know your comments below. And I appreciate y'all watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing below. Until next time, y'all, stay real.